Hello and welcome back to my Magic 2 Gates to Another World. And I forgot to make it on top. There we go. Um, so, we are starting the promotion quests. The first one will be the Knight's promotion quest. Also, are everyone alright? Looks like they are. Good. They do get free healing, you know. <laughs> okay, so I will just go there and try to finish the quest. As you may recall, the quest for knights is to defeat a dark knight or something like that. So we will be doing just that. Also, um... We are currently in Middle Gate, because it's closest to where we need to go. And uh, since the last video where I showed the party and the things that they have equipped, um, from that point I also made sure that everyone would have some ranged weapon. So that means Flailer... wait... Yeah, that means Ratfing has a crossbow plus one, and also Fumbler has a crossbow plus one. Yeah, so let's uh, try just going into battle. I have a feeling this won't end well for us, but that will allow me to figure out what exactly I need in order to make the fight more possible. Um, we can actually do quite a few things here to make the fight easier. We could drink some potions. Uh, we could also drink from a fountain in theory. In theory because most fountains are quite a bit far from here. And even though random encounters in this game are quite uh, rare, they still happen, and the chance of going from that place back to here without a random encounter is pretty slim. Plus it takes quite a while. So I'd like to not do that. Another thing that would probably help is having better healing items or just some other magic items. So, okay, let's um, just go this place. Uh, there's a mountain. Let's climb the mountain. Okay. And let's go to the forest. <laughs> Oops, I think I'm in the wrong place. Well, there's also a lot of cat corpses. Hmm. That makes me wonder if Slickpick isn't actually warping the difficulty setting here, due to his insane levels. Huh. Because they might be taking the highest level person in the party and basing the difficulty off of that. That would explain all of the cat corpses. Well, just because, let's uh, see if we can do anything about this. Of course, most people are melee fighters. And all of our Robbers can do double damage. And now a lot of cat corpses. Ow. Oh, really? How'd you do that? Oh. Oh, really? How'd you do that? <laughs> I definitely don't want to have more openings for the cat corpses, so I'm just going to attack E, whatever happens. I also don't think we have enough endurance to 
kill all the cat corpses. Also, that was so overkill, it's ridiculous. Yeah, the vampire regrets are actually quite good at what they're doing, surprisingly enough. Cat corpses are quite good too, though. take down a considerable number of cat corpses, but it's probably still not enough. Also, Ratfink and Sir Hyron are not very useful. Attacking the rats. <laughs> because obviously you cannot do anything else. So shoot B. And then with everyone else just attack the cat corpses. Also we have plenty of people who can open chests. And also Shagrath who has 100% theory. Nice. Oh, right, that thing. Pretty straightforward to have an all night party. Considering that they cannot really do much, they just attack. No, oh, Threadfink! Uh, keep forgetting. So he goes just after cat corpses, I guess? Definitely healing him. But it will be 
increase your higher armor. That does it. Actually, you can use one yourself. Hey. One yourself. And I think it's A for you too, yes. Use A on seven. Okay, sounds about right. Fight E. Not that many cat corpses left. All things concerned. Although they are wearing us out as well. Let's see. Oh no! Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Then we're fighting D. This might go a bit poorly. Only six of them outside. But there's still a considerable number. to kill them won't hinder others. Hey, another fight. Fight E. Okay. Sounds like a 
probably no idea. And if everything goes well, nobody will die. and a cat corpse is down. Fight D. And there we go. That's not a whole lot. And that is nothing at all. trees too which is not very good oh no jugglers but I should be able to do this if I attack jugglers first Or they can run away, that works too. Much less than resting, it's ridiculous. So let's do that. Okay. Actually, well, yeah, it was safe first, and then I want to drink from the fountain, and then I want to buy a lot more things. Herbs. I need at least four of them. Three, four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Small club and a dagger. Yeah, and I have that instant keep with me too. Hmm. Well, okay, so trade four, seven. T four seven C T four eight C T four eight C and discard A discard A Okay Let's save And this time let's go to the proper place With Wizard Eye, I should be able to do this now. Also, there's a place to get more stats around here, which is not that far away, so I might want to go there at some point, but not right now. A flurry of motion pervades Jouster's way. Banners fly and trumpets blare as ladies and nobles view the tournament from colorful tents. 
Riding a restless stallion, the Dread Knight gallops toward your knight. Lance braced ready at his side. A Dread Knight and a Conjurer. Well, I guess both sides are kind of cheating. Ouch. Okay, so first of all, I want to get rid of the Conjurer. Because he can conjure things. I don't like being conjured. Okay, that's not bad. That's bad. That's not bad. That's bad. Uh, oh, actually he hit. That's nice. Ouch, that hurt. That hurt a lot. However, the nice thing is that... Seems that the Dread Knight only hits one person, which means that the actual number of hit points that they have is not really relevant. As soon as they fall unconscious, if I heal them, it will be the same as if I heal like 100 points of damage. So that's very nice. Also, he is super easy. Alrighty then. You have proven your worthiness by slaying the Dread Knight. The jurors atop Mount Fowlview await you with your reward. Also a rusty trunk. <laughs> a torch. Ha. <laughs> okay, now we just need to not die and reach a place I can save. Is this a... What? Oh, because we don't have a cartographer. That's why it's all weird like that. Okay, um... We can definitely go here. And we can save. And let's go to... Mount Farview. It's not that far from here. <laughs> uh, no, I'd better drink from the fountain. Also, I'd better heal people. Okay. I guess Aragorn could have more healing, but I don't care. Yes, I will take it. Mount Farview is straight. Yes. Yes, and down. This is Mount Farview. You have already completed a test. Your reward is 5 million experience points and recognition in the form of a plus. And we have it. Slickpick is a robber plus. Aragorn is a knight plus. Fumbler, robber plus. Shagrath, robber plus. Kill, Knight Plus, Flailer, Knight Plus, Redfink, Robber Plus, Sir Hyron, Knight Plus. I will probably give them custom names, as in uh, what the promoted classes were known in My Magic 7 for Blood and Honor, according to their alignment. But I don't have that data table right now, so I cannot do that right now. Okay, now what we need to do is... Uh, is train. Oh uh, yeah, sure, let's go that way. And go up. Cross this place. Save. 
Now I know there is a portal here somewhere. But the question is where? And which one of them leads to Volcania? I mean, no, to Implantium. Uh, let's see, let's see. I should have it on the map. It's either here... Or... Ah. I don't know. Uh, let's just go there and see where it takes me. The poor man's portal. To Sensubar. Hmm. Is there really no other portal here? That looks really weird because I thought every town had two. Well, let's travel to Sansubar. Now I'm here. Mm. Okay, I need to go there. Yeah, this goes to Middlegate. So I can return back the way I want. Okay, the Soraku portal to Tundara. This is Jean-Luc Picard. And of course I don't want to go to Sansibar. Instead I want to go one place down. No, go away. Okay, go with a talkative polar bear. No, and... Uh, no, that's not it. Um, oh, okay, this is right across here. And a dust devil, okay. Well, that's... something. I'm not really sure where I am because I don't have any cartographers. Uh, but it seems it shouldn't be very difficult to navigate this place in any case. Though unfortunately I don't uncover tiles here also. I just passed it. There we go. And let's see how far we can train. Because that was a lot of experience. And also, most of the robbers will be with us uh, throughout the campaign, which is amazing. So, every uh, quest will be easier as time goes. Well, or rather, every quest will be easier from now on because they won't get any additional experience from completing other quests, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, Slickpick, you have 25,000 cost. You're level 26, so... Oh boy, 37,000. 50,000. I will probably never rest with Slickpick in my party. And 50,000 is the most they can ever ask us. Which is good, because that will probably mean we won't go totally broke. Okay, next up, Aragorn. So he got to level 29 from level, what, 26? Rather, to 28 from level 25, I think. So, that will probably be a lot of levels for Aragorn, too. I will need a lot of gold as well. Okay, so let's see. Train. 18 hit points. 18. 18. 18. Huh. 
So is it that uh, they gain a static amount of hit points every time they try? I thought it was randomized a bit. Hmm. Okay, level 22. That is very good. Okay, next up, Fumbler. Well, you get to 22 as well. <clears throat> Asking to train to level 22. So, pretty much, yes. Okay, not bad. Shagrath, you should also go to 22. 14. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, 21. Sir Kill. You probably won't get up to that, but somewhere close enough. Yes, to level 20. Still not too bad. Flailer. Yeah, level 20 as well. Ratfink. Probably to level 19. Yes. And last and least, Sir Hyron. Three cost, four cost, six cost, nine, thirteen, nineteen, twenty-eight, forty-two, sixty-three, ninety-four, one hundred and forty-one, two hundred and eleven, three sixteen, four hundred and seventy-four, seven eleven. 1066. That is an important number in terms of random access memory. <laughs> mm, 2300, and that's it. That is interesting. Because Ratfink costs twice the amount of Sir Hyron. Very interesting. I wonder why. That means that the earlier hirelings have much better economy. Because the costs go up very quickly. Although not for Sir Kill and Fumbler for some weird reason. Okay, so we are at the very, very nice level of 21. And wow, look at those hit points. That is amazing. 300 hit points for Slickpick. 320 hit points for Aragorn. Shagrath has 250. Even the lowly Sir Hyron has 248. That's very nice. So, the next quest should be a bit easier, considering that we will have level 20 people all around. So, that will be all for now, and see you all later with what will probably be another special edition of Paper Dolls for another promotion quest. So, see you all then, later.